Well, everyone, it's time for us to go and take a look at the M2 Mac Mini and see how this particular Mac holds up in 2024. Now, the thing I would definitely tell you with this particular device, I still think it's completely worth buying for sure. I think it's a very good Mac, and I do think it was a really, really good upgrade coming from the predecessor. I truly do feel like that's a very good thing going on for this particular device. Now, are there better, you know, Macs than this thing? Yes, and there's are, and there's, I would say there's better priced Macs than this thing too, which we'll talk about all throughout this video. If you want to go ahead and pick up any of those Macs or MacBooks or iMacs that I'd recommend buying this year, links will be down in the description. You can get them from there and you can help support the channel at the same time. Now, I will tell you the thought process with the Mac minis are very interesting. I've always liked these particular devices and looking forward, I still think these are very, very good Macs. I think anybody would probably tell you that like these things have a ton of capability and a ton of quality and that's a very good thing going on for these particular devices at the end of the day. Now with this particular Mac you have to remember the body of it was basically the same exact thing as the you know M1 Mac mini. There wasn't really a big difference here comparatively to those two devices. It was essentially the same exact type of device all over the place which again I don't really have too much of a complaint about. I think that's totally fine and when you're getting a Mac like this I mean you know kind of what you're getting. With the design of this thing I still think it looks very good for the most part and like I said before I don't really have like insane amounts of things to complain about there from the design standpoint so on the top you're just getting that standard Apple logo which I think looks very good again I think it looks fine I don't really have too much to complain about there from that particular perspective it's a very good looking panel I think it has a it's a very good looking device you know the top of it looks very good on the front of it and the sides this is where you're getting basically the rest of the body so the side the front side of this thing you're just basically getting like a little like light indicator so it's a cool little like light indicator if you really care about it it looks nice there's not really too much to complain about here either and it does look pretty cool i think it's uh you know kind of tells you when it's on and it's off the rest of the sides like the left and right side pretty basic stuff you know there's not really anything crazy going on here either it looks basically what you'd expect from any type of you know kind of mac and on the back side this is where you get a lot more of your you know peripherals with your near mac so here's the thing you have to remember with a mac mini there's two different models now you're either getting the m2 mac or you're getting the m2 pro mac now, if you're getting the standard M2 model, there's a certain amount of ports you're getting that the M2 Pro basically is giving you more. So with that standard M2 model, you're getting two Thunderbolt 4 ports, you're getting two USB-A ports, which are those older ones, you're getting an HDMI port, and then you're getting that gigabit Ethernet or that 10 gigabyte Ethernet port. So depending on which one you want to go and get, you can get either one of those ports, but that's what you get on the base M2 Mac model. Now, if you go up to the M2 Pro MacBook, now if you go up to the M2 Pro Mac, this is a little bit of a different process. So you are now getting, instead of two Thunderbolt 4 ports, you're getting four Thunderbolt 4 ports. So this is already a pretty stark difference. If you're wanting the Mac that has a little bit of a bigger size, like that has more ports, then you might as well go up to the M2 Pro model. If you want, you can even buy them in the used market for a little bit cheaper, but you do have that type of capability. You can either go up to that M2 Pro model or go down to the M2 model and then kind of configure it out from there. But do keep in mind the M2 Pro model is giving you more ports, which I actually prefer a lot. You're still maintaining two USB-A ports on both models, an HDMI port and that, you know, Ethernet ports on both models as well. So there are like slight differences here and there but it really isn't even like the biggest difference in the world but keep in mind that if you're talking about these two devices you're getting slight differences that are you know between both not the biggest deal in the world but that kind of covers it up from there on the bottom same old same old there really isn't anything crazy going on with the bottom of these Macs either and I will tell you on the outside of this particular Mac I think it looks very good you know, I think these are very excellent looking Macs for the most part. And, you know, still to this day, I mean, I think they look really nice. And as I mentioned before, I don't really have too much to complain about here from the Mac standpoint, like from the design standpoint, but I still think that's totally fine. If I'm going to go ahead and buy some sort of Mac, these things look very, very good. Now, I will tell you from the performance standpoint or from the feature standpoint alone, there are lots and lots of crazy things going on within this Mac. So these things have the M2 chip inside of it. You have to remember that the M2 chip really isn't that old of a chipset right now. It's basically like, you know, one generation old right now. Now, of course, things can change and we might be getting a different type of chipset very soon. But for the most part, you're still getting kind of the same type of design and same type of chipset for the most part. Like there really isn't like this big of a deal between these. With the M2 Pro model, again, very fast chipset. You could buy this, you know, computer today and you are going to have a very fast, you know, chipset and a very fast computer for years and years and years from now. So that's a very nice thing to have. And that's something when I'm going through and buying some sort of Mac, 
I want it to have as good of a chipset as I can get on it, and this thing definitely is giving you that, which is very, very important. Now, within this particular computer, you can spec out the storage in the RAM and basically everything that you want to within this particular Mac. So you can get up to 12 cores of your CPU and up to 19 cores inside of your GPU. You can get up to 32 gigabytes of RAM, which is crazy on a Mac mini, and you can get up to eight terabytes of storage. Those things in and of itself are very, very important things that you can kind of have inside of your particular device. Like being able to just boot up your you know, Mac just like this and a small package and be able to get this much performance is very crazy. Like that is a very good performing device. And this in and of itself is again, one of my favorite things going on for these particular devices. I love having these types of fast performing Macs and this in and of itself is no exception without a doubt. Now I will also tell you from everything you're probably going to end up doing on your Mac, you're going to be getting a really fast machine from this thing. So you have to remember that this Mac is basically just as fast as the standard M2 MacBook Airs and the you know iMac if it had M2 chipset and you know, the M3 iMac right now is available. But you also have to remember this thing has the M2 Pro model as well. I am still currently using an M1 Pro MacBook. The M1, even my M1 MacBook Pro and M1 MacBook Air are still very fast. Like these particular devices can give you a lot of different things inside of it. And this is something that's very, very important. Like if I'm going through and if I'm picking up some sort of like Mac or MacBook or whatever, I want it to basically have as much power as I can get from it for the price tag. And these things, these Macs are not like thousands of dollars. They're $599 right now for the base model in the brand new market. You can probably pick up this thing in the used market and get an even cheaper Mac than that. That's another crazy thing going on for this particular Mac from that standpoint as well. And that in and of itself, once again, is another really crazy thing going on for this device. And that's something that I actually like a lot when I'm going through and buying some sort of Mac. I definitely like having, you know, this type of capability for sure. So once again, this in and of itself is another really cool thing going on for this particular device too. Beyond that though, there's not really like anything else super crazy going on for these particular devices. I think this Mac, like this Mac mini still looks very, very good. Like I'm still very happy with the way this particular Mac looks. And I do think it's a very, very cool thing. So I will tell you, if you're in the market and you're wanting some sort of Mac, you can't really go wrong with this thing. The power of this thing is very good. The capability behind this Mac is still very good. And there's not really that much I could look at this particular Mac and be like super sad about or, you know, complain about. I think Apple did a tremendous job with this particular Mac when it first came out. And I still think it's completely worth buying for sure. Now, is it perfect? No, I mean, the only thing that I really didn't like about this particular Mac, maybe like the fact that it doesn't have like, you know, the, the most amount of ports, like having a little bit more of a port selection would be nice. Maybe a little bit more powerful machine would have been nice too. But even that, I'm never tapping out of the power on my Macs or my machines. So those types of things are kind of irrelevant for the most part. Maybe the only thing I can kind of think about is like, I wish it had some ports or like an SD card reader on the front of the Mac, like how the Mac Studio has. Maybe that's the only thing I can kind of complain about. But even then, if that's really important, to you, you could just go buy a Mac Studio instead of just buying a Mac Mini. So I definitely do think the Mac Mini, the M2 model is still very good. I still think honestly the M1 Mac Mini is still very, very good as well. Like you genuinely cannot go wrong with either one of these types of devices. And I do think Apple has done a really, really good job with these, you know, Macs. And I do think they're completely worth buying without a doubt. So in terms of that, that pretty much covers it up there. If you have any other thoughts or questions, please let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.